Welcome to today's edition of Three Minutes of Halacha. Today I want to address the question of spontaneous prayer within the most classic of all prayers, the Shmona Esrei. The Gemara Brachot and Daf Lamidaud Amud Aleph teaches in the name of Rabbi Yehuda, Leolam al Yishal Adam Trachav, Lo Bishalosh Rishonot, Velo Bishalosh Achronot. The person should never request their own personal needs in the first three Brachot or the last three brachot, ela ben tzayot, but may do so in the middle brachot. Interestingly, this phrase, which permits doing it in the middle, also is used by Chazal, the Gaonim initially, and then later Rishonim, to give us permission during the Aseret Yimei Tshuva to do a different kind of addition. The addition of those phrases we say, such as Zochreinu L'chaim, the four additions, made within the Shmon Esrei, specifically in the first three and the last three, because those aren't personal requests. Rather, they're communal requests, and those are not forbidden by Rav Yehuda. But what about the personal requests? The personal requests refer us back to another Gemara, and that's a Gemara in Avodah Zorah, in Dav Chetamot Aleph, where we learn in the name of Rav, Av pi shamru shoel adam tzrachav b'shomeat filan, that Rav taught that while it is true that in the final bracha of the middle set, the bracha of Shomea Tfila, we're allowed to insert any of our personal prayers to God. Nevertheless, if the prayer is related to a specific bracha within those middle set, we can actually added there. So for example, if a person is praying for someone's health, they would add that prayer within the Rifa'enu. Or in fact, the Chaye Adam, who is also quoted by the Mishnah Buram, he writes that it's proper to add one's own personal requests and prayers on a regular basis. For example, he writes that one should pray for his own needs, for his livelihood, or for the spiritual success of his children. In essence, the Chaye Adam is encouraging us, as is the Mishnah Bura, to engage in spontaneous prayer as part of our fixed prayer as well. That spontaneity adds to the meaning and adds to the experience of our tefillot. However, the Taz does critique those who permanently alter the brachot of Shemona Esrei, always adding in the same things. The Arach HaShulchan goes a step further and not only critiques it, but he says it's a hazayitirah v'chutzpah. He says it's a chutzpah. It's brazen to go ahead and regularly add things into the Shemona Esrei on a near permanent basis. Why? It's klapei on sheikin eset This chutzpah is against the men of the great assembly who authored the Shmona Esrei, as if we're saying that we're making the Shmona Esrei even better. In fact, he even rebuked hamad pisim shehosifu besidurim b'shma kolenu tefilah kvuam. What used to be a fixed prayer that was added into shma kolenu by the printers. A tefillah that tells God, we regret our sins. Ana Hashem Chatati is the way it would start. Because again, he says, that's not spontaneous prayer. That's editing the fixed prayer itself. Ultimately, when it comes to davening, davening has both the fixed nature, those things that were set, and the opportunities to make the tefillot our own to add things that are needed, that are spontaneous, is something admirable, because we make that tefillah, our own tefillah, meaningful. To change the tefillah on a regular basis is something that is not looked upon with favor by all of our chazal, and therefore should be avoided.